All right, looks like we're recording. Hello. Um, oh, let me move that. Hey, this is this is Maple the cat, and I am Andy from Absurd Joy. Um, I do ten minute code warm ups, which is a little bit of a different thing. Um, I'm this is my first stream, uh, except it's not a stream because I got this. YouTube won't let me stream for another 24 hours because of account activation and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> That's okay. I can pretend it's a stream and I can do the whole video thingy thing. Um, the whole point of this video stream series is to do a code warm up for game development, um, which is similar to you know, starting your work day with a doodle or a sketch or something like that. I think there's value to doing it, uh, you know, a Unity warm-up or a code warm-up as well. I gave a talk about that. I'll give you a link in the doodly-doo, but feel free to go take a look at that later. Um, I'm just going to start making a 10-minute warm-up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 minutes a day on the same project, or maybe I'll switch out the project occasionally. Um, yeah, and everything I do will be on camera and only 10 minutes at a time. So... I'll start the countdown and start from scratch and we'll just start uh, a 3D project. Oof. Last time I did something like this, I did a uh, uh, new folder. No, I don't want a new folder. I want it in this folder. Right, right, right. Um, oh, 10 minutes. That's what I'll call it. Oh, I want it. Wait, do I have to name the project folder 10 minutes or is it going to put it in a subfolder? Oh, I'm wasting so much time on just this. The last time I did this, I did it in the afternoon with shots. So this is a little bit, uh, should be easier because it's the morning. I just woke up. <laughs> my brain is not working yet. I've not even had my coffee. I'm not allowed to have my coffee until I finish this. All right, already 10% done and all I've got is a folder and a loading bar. Ah, game development, everyone. Staring at a whole bunch of loading screens. Boop, 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 boop. So, uh, as you can see, I was just opening up um, Unity in the standard 3D project layout. I am not importing any old code or scripts. Everything is going to be uh, created uh, as a... Uh, for the first time, everything is going to be created for this project specifically. So I'm going to, uh, okay, I've given absolutely no thought to this. I have no idea what I'm going to make. So why don't I start with some flat surface, which is just a very big cube that is very short. There we go, look at that. Nice, nice flat surface. Um, and why don't we have a, uh, today I'm just going to make some things that fall down and bounce around on the surface. That's it. And then maybe later, uh, in the future, I will change that to maybe you're trying to dodge these items or something. You play a playable character, but I doubt I'm going to get to that today. So I'm going to call this falling object and this is going to be the ground and the falling object needs a rigid body and it's going to use gravity. Okay, that's fine. And if I hit play, it should fall and it's not. Why? It, nope, it is. Okay, good, good, good. Now let's switch this to one column. Oh, it is. Okay, good, good, good. And and make an art folder and I'm going to make a material folder and I'm going to make a physic folder and in the physic folder I want this ball to bounce so I'm going to create oh where is it there it is a ball physic material which is going to have a bounciness of one but it's going to average between one and zero with the ground so that should be fine bounce bounce more please Please bounce. Doink. Okay, sweet. Now let's add 
Oh, six minutes left. Okay, um, let's add some colors. Uh, ground and ball. Let's say we make a nice green grass. And the ball is going to be my favorite dusty pink, I guess. Okay. Following object. Go round. Look at that. It looks like a proper video game almost already. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so I'm going to make a little spawner and it is going to generate a whole bunch of these balls dynamically. And this will be my first code. Look at that. Five minutes, 30 seconds in. <sighs> Let's wait for another loading bar. Let's wait for Rider to load. I use JetBrains Rider. It is a pay product, but um, I do work in Unity professionally. Um, I find Rider is really, really good. It does has a lot of defaults and same things that make life so much easier for me. Um, highly recommend it if you can afford it. It is, it is wonderful and great. Okay, so I'm just going to do this quick and dirty. So I need a prefab to spawn and I need a, what do I need? I need a, a timer of some kind. Okay, and then I'm going to, in the update loop, say, so this is just decrement the timer, and if the time left is less than zero, then let's set time left to timer and spawn. Let's make a spawn function, which, uh, Just instantiate the prefab. Let's set the parent to this transform just to keep our scene tidy. <sighs> Local position is gonna just be zero. And is that it? Is that all I need? I think that's all I need. Okay, let's make a folder for prefabs and in the prefabs folder let's put this fallen object and on the spot I can on the spawner now drag and drop this falling object and let's do that every 0.4 seconds go okay doink 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 okay so uh, they're just spawning inside of each other so I'm just gonna lift the spawner up a bit so in fact, I'm going to put this falling object right in the middle so I can visualize where the spawner is. <sighs> yeah, let's start it up there. There we go, that's that's a little bit better. That's kind of fun. Look at that, making a tower of balls. Okay, so now I just need to jitter the <sighs> jitter the spawn location so that they're not stacking perfectly. And instead of the local position being vector three zero, uh, no, nope. I want a random range negative jitter x to jitter x and then I'm just going to I don't remember if there is a random function that deals with um... <laughs> I don't remember if there's a random function that deals with vector threes uh, I don't think so uh, and I don't have time to look it up because I only have two minutes left on the clock Okay, so now in the spawner script, once it recompiles, I can jitter it by just like a tiny amount and I'm not gonna jitter on the Z height. Come on. There we go. So you got a little bit of chaos going on in there. Now let's give the floor a bit of springiness as well. So that's the floor. 
and the floor, it's not going to be one, it'll be 0. 0.3. Let's do 0. 0.3. Go. Doink, 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 doink. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally said zero on the Z when I meant zero on the Y because I've only been working in Unity for 10 years and I still fucked that up. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. So it's now jittering in all directions. Only have 57 seconds left. Uh, let's stop us from running out of memory. Um, I'm going to make a script called destroy after. Oh, uh, I like to be organized. Let's make a scripts folder and let's put these scripts in the scripts folder. Doop. And on my prefab, I'm going to just on start, I'm going to do this really quick and dirty. Destroy the game object after 30 seconds. That's a long time. It's probably too long, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. And you won't even be able to see it work because uh, because I don't even have 30 seconds left on the clock. Okay. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm done. Let's just see if some of these disappear. Yep, they're kind of self-destroying. No, wait, are they? Because <laughs> I did not, I did not hit apply on the prefab. I'm gonna cheat and I'm going to hit apply on the prefab, and then try again. And that should be that should be it, right? Look at them deleting themselves. All right, that's day one of the non-live streamed ten-minute code warm-up. I did a lot of uh, project setup and uh, loading of things. Just getting things kind of aligned. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have a little bit more time actually making code. But this was fun and I have to get to work. Um, I do really hope that other people do code warm-ups. Um, I think one of the things this industry needs is to stop shaming terrible bad code like this. Um, and actually start uh, appreciating doing a doodle in, in code land. So that's kind of the point of this whole thing. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video every, hi, gotcha. I'm not actually gonna be doing a video regularly. I'm gonna do it whenever I feel like it because, because my personal mental health around all of this is first and foremost and tantamount and you can't make me do anything. I'm gonna stop and hopefully tomorrow, I'll actually be able to live stream.